welcome back. Today we are talking about prepping our homes for the holidays, especially if you're hosting, and avoiding stress regarding hosting. We are hosting a little Thanksgiving, I guess it's a Friendsgiving because it's with our friends in New York who feel like family. And we are also planning a one-year-old birthday party, which is so crazy and makes me emotional. We also have family coming just throughout the month of December. So we really need to get our apartment in shape for guests. Today, we are gonna talk about hosting for the holidays and preparing for that to avoid stress and just ways to make your life a little easier. We live in a smaller space. It's not the smallest apartment, but it's not a house where we can just shove everything in a room when people come over. The whole apartment has to look good because like to get to the bathroom, you have to walk through a different room and that room has to be clean. Um, and then we're going to start decorating for the holidays. As you can see, we already have the tree up. We just haven't decorated it with any ornaments. Um, I'm not in a huge rush. I kind of love the look of just like pine branches everywhere with lights. And then I'm also going to share a few like quick, simple appetizers that you can make that really take like no time at all. And just a few ways that we prepare our apartment for hosting. Just a quick note, this video is in partnership with LG and I'm so excited to share more about them and how they make our lives easier. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. If you've ever seen my photos and videos and think, wow, her place is clean all the time. That is so not the reality here. I feel like I spend so much of my time cleaning lately, especially with a baby and a dog who honestly both drool everywhere. They leave toys everywhere and I can't blame it all on them. It's definitely me also, I'm the problem, but I have to make an effort daily to keep it somewhat clean in here. And I'm not really the type to say, don't get on this, don't get on that. I want my furniture and decor to be safe and livable and family friendly if possible. So we have this slip covered sofa, which has been a complete game changer. We simply zip off the covers. You can put them in the washing machine, but lately we've been refreshing them in our LG Styler, which I keep in the corner of our bedroom. It's pretty slim. It doesn't take up too much space and you simply plug it in, you fill up the bottom with water, and this thing has simplified our lives in so many ways. It has true steam technology, so it sanitizes, freshens, and deodorizes with just steam, no chemicals needed. It also helps keep our laundry at bay for those in-between wash pieces, so clothes aren't constantly piling up in this corner anymore. Not only is it so helpful to have to refresh our slip covers, our pillow covers, blankets, and other fabrics in our living room where all of our guests will hang out, but it's nice for those hard to wash pieces like hats and outerwear shoes even. I know our coat closet gets kind of stinky by the end of the season and it's just so nice to be able to put our outerwear in there for a quick refresh. It also sanitizes toys. Like where was this when we lived in our last apartment with no washer and dryer? This would have saved so, so much time. It also connects to an app, Thank You, which is helpful in telling you which settings to use for which items you're refreshing or sanitizing. For example, we will select children's toys and it'll set you up with the right settings so that you don't have to do any of the guesswork. Another tip I have related to laundry. I have an over the door hamper in every room. Between those and the LG Styler, it makes such a difference in keeping our floors clean of clothing piles. It's also nice to have a designated shoe area, which we have, but it's completely filled with our shoes. So uh, before guests come over, I will have to kind of pull some of these shoes out and put them in a back closet so that our guests can put their shoes there. It's kind of nice to have somewhere that guests can put their shoes just so a pile doesn't form while they're here and then it ends up feeling a little bit more cluttered. Same thing with this area. So I will take all of these bags and put them in a back closet just so our guests could hang their bags on these hooks. There are so many easy, quick snacks to make for guests, but a couple that come to mind are a classic green onion cheese ball and a crescent roll tree. Both take no time at all to make and are ones that you can't really go wrong with as far as appetizers go. I'll leave the ingredients and recipe in the description as well as my Pinterest board of appetizers that I am always adding to. My favorite, favorite part, holiday decorating. I want it to feel very festive and cozy as soon as you walk in. So I added some garland to this archway in our dining room. And I also refreshed these shelves a bit, added some stockings just to make it fill out the space. I don't always like candles in here because I get anxiety with Pearl and Brooks, but, but before people come over, 
You can bet that I'm lighting a candle that smells like a winter wonderland. And I keep my favorite seasonal candles in this vintage picnic basket down here. I never want it to feel cluttered in here. And honestly, that's been a challenge for me because we don't have a ton of storage space and I love to just be creative and decorate all out in every single corner. Um, I love collecting and shopping at flea markets. So our apartment already has a lot of things, but when it comes to like Christmas time, I really just have to make sure I don't over decorate so that it becomes cluttered. But that's just my like holiday style. One place that is important to me when it comes to hosting is the bathroom. I neglect the bathroom in these videos a lot of the time because the bathroom is pretty, I don't know, it's just not, a place I focus on unless guests are coming over because you know that your guests are going to be going in there. If I had to choose my top three favorite holiday decor pieces that are the most versatile, one would be mini wreaths. I add them everywhere. I put them on photo frames. Like I fill out a gallery wall with them. You can put them on doors, refrigerators. I also really love skinny accent trees because you can put them in like non-traditional places for an extra holiday glow. And then lastly, little ceramic houses or even wooden houses. Actually, I, I don't even care what they're made of, just houses and creating a cute little holiday village is like my favorite, favorite part of decorating every year. And then you can put tea lights or twinkle lights inside of them to add like a warm glow. So now that the home is feeling cozy, festive, clean, sanitized, and welcoming, it's time for a holiday outfit check. And sequins are always a favorite if we're going for like a glam, festive look. Or I can't go wrong with the cozy cashmere look, which is probably what I'll be doing for Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving. But if I have wrinkles or something needs a quick refresh, I'll just pop them in the LG Styler, which is really, really convenient. And what's cool about these hangers in here is that they are moving hangers. So they were specifically designed for the LG Styler, but they shake off the day by removing dust, odor, and dirt. So thanks again for watching and hopefully it helped give you some inspo for the holidays. And I think the key to avoid holiday stress is just to be as prepared as possible. The earlier, the better, but thanks again. And I will see you next time.